Hey guys, this is Rob from Urban Survival Tactics. What I'm going to show you today is how to disassemble and reassemble a Smith & Wesson 9VE. I'm just going to put it together and then I'm going to show you how to take it apart and then I'll show you how to put it together again. together. Take it apart. First you want to release your clip, your thumb switch. Make sure your chamber is empty. Always double check. Fire the dry round. Pull your barrel back an eighth of an inch and there's a switch on both sides just like a Glock. Push the switch down and push forward with your thumb. Your slide will come straight off your gun. Put that down underneath your spring. Pops right up and out. And your barrel, the same way, slides right out. To put it back together, grab your slide first. Your barrel, put it in, push it through, lock it back. Spring, look for the smaller end that goes in your front. Push a little bit to lock it on. Line up your slide. You can hear it click. That means it's locked in place. And then it's up to you. You can push your clip in, cock it. You can slide it back like I did in the very beginning. Drop a, chin, drop a round in the breech. That gives you your extra. My clip holds 16. You can load 16 in the clip and then put one in the barrel. You don't have to release the slide like I did. It slams forward and it makes the barrel lock in. It makes the bullet lock in place. You can let it go, and the same thing happens. This gun features no safety, but it has a a round indicator right there. If you look in there you can see the brass. That means it's chambered and you need to be careful. You can also, without popping your shell out, you can pull it back about a quarter of an inch to a half inch and you can see that the round is still in there. It's a good indicator to tell whether or not it's loaded. Notice I keep my finger away from the trigger. You should never have your finger on the trigger if a round is in the barrel, or if the gun is loaded, period, unless you plan on using it. But I don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to put the round back in the clip. Always make sure your rounds are lined up for, you know, continual function. And that's that. One simple cock and it's ready to fire. Hope that was informational for you. For those of you that have one, most guns are similar. Like I said, this gun features Glock. You know, it's a Smith & Wesson. Pretty simple to do. You can do it in under a minute. Take it apart and put it back together.